It's been way too long, Kenshiro, since our first match. I've wanted to get a rematch with you for ten months, not for lack of asking. I've heard this match is going to be no holds barred. Surprise there's no added stipulations on top of that. You keep your boys in the back, and the rest of the principal will have no reason to get involved either. Besides, I want you to myself. Maybe you'll even feel a bit nostalgic, like way back when you were Utah, getting pummeled pillar to post. Don't expect a thanks from me, though. Everyone knows of the streak that runs down your back. There's even those in the blood trail who talk about it. You can say all you want about me not being worth your time and you having more important matters to attend to. I think at this point, you're finally answering my challenge because you need to, to save face. Sometimes we get what we need, though, when we need to get them. Since then, I've had the opportunity to face some of the very best that DCA and UWL have had to offer. More importantly, I've gotten back into proper fighting shape. Nearly every match I've been put through the ringer against your goons in the past year, I've tasted my own blood. I'd promised to do the same to you last time, and you had made a liar out of me. Not this time. Let the mask be the seal of your failures, past, present, and future. At Proving Ground, I'll show you what you helped build over the last 10 months. Alongside my family, my friends, the Tiger's Den training Takuma put us through. Not a man merely making a comeback tour for a few extra bucks, but a career reborn with something to fight for again. I'm sure preparations for prestige are looming large in your mind, but don't worry about that. Don't worry about D. Wall's team. Don't worry about the next person who's going to defect on you. Don't even worry about the Godzilla threshold. The one and only thing you should worry about right now is me. Last time, I hope to make you love wrestling again with my style of match. I hope to bring back the passion and spirit of competition that I would assume would have brought you to wrestling in the first place. Now, all I care about is putting a stop to your plans so that the DCA has a future. So that VWU has a future. Although some of your other enemies are growing more reckless. I don't know what JT Onyx is capable of, but he's surprised me. I don't know what he's really capable of, and I don't know if he means the threats he makes. However, he doesn't take orders from the principal, so you should be concerned. After our match, of course. I've wondered before, and I wonder still, why, after your win, you haven't done more, personally. Regardless of my challenge, why you haven't joined the fight alongside the rest of the blood trail. Yet you've done nothing but sit back and wait, and let others do the fighting. Then again, after seeing what happened with Taggart, and what you used to be, before all this, I wouldn't be surprised at you employing a bit of mystical male enhancement on yourself. Maybe whatever you're using doesn't come easy, doesn't come cheap, or maybe it takes a toll on you. You burn brightly at redemption, but do you have enough left for proving ground? And if you do, beyond that? We've been hearing time and time again, from Taggart, from Gnarly, from Hatred, that you've already won, and we just haven't realized it yet. Yet here we are still, and you're still trying to convince us. We're still holding our ground. The principle, the eye of truth, Osak, Black November, Unchained, the former thief who can unite us all. We're not going anywhere. And proving ground, prestige, and beyond if need be, we will not stop 
until the blood trail was defeated.